coast of Kenya and we are driving down to Tiwi Africa Pool to show you the uniqueness of this phenomenal site. Follow me through. Our forefathers, they were fishermen, yeah? And uh, we used to come with our forefathers down here for fishing. But then because we passed through school, yeah, schooling, when, uh, when we reach this place here, we see the, the way the map itself, or the place itself, it's the way it looks, how it looks, yeah? And then we realize that, oh, this is looking like Africa, yeah? And uh, the, the situation continues like that, yeah? That, oh, it's African map, African map, it's African map, yeah? And uh, that's the way it, it came. But then in, in itself, it's, a, it's a just nature, eh? It's nature. No one, it's not man-made. And voila, I've just toured the whole of Africa in less than five minutes. And now I want to swim in different cities here in Africa. Now I want to swim to Madagascar. There's a challenge there. So we can dive there and go away. Tiwi itself is not so developed, yeah? It's not so developed because there are just small, small uh, hotels like cottages, yeah? Before, the security situation was not good, but then we as the community, we, we strive very much on that, yeah? Until uh, we, we keep the, the place very secure. We need the government to, to make it, at least to improve the place make it maybe more modern but then leave it as the way it is its nature yeah but then uh, if a person or anybody want to come down here they can just uh, uh, descend down here very easily This is a natural feature, but saying it is not exploited because it is actually not known. By far and wide, I think uh, to so many people, they don't even know what it is. If we could now get development partners, we map the area, we, we really profile it, we put it in the global scale, we fence it, and then we let the community, now we even train them as, it can be a source of uh, revenue generation for them.